First off, I've been mobbed by people the last three months on the street, calling my phone, sending emails saying, has Joe Rogan really moved to Austin or is he moving to Austin? I will answer that question in just a moment. But first off, I had a lengthy discussion with Joe this morning, just a few minutes ago, because I had to call him in the middle of the night, buzz, buzz, call, call. I get up at like 5 a.m., dozens of text messages and calls saying, is Spotify censoring the Joe Rogan podcast? And I didn't know until I talked to him this morning and he explained it. They've got 1,500 plus files and then some migrating over and they've had a few problems here and there with corrupted files with the naming of them. And Spotify wants to have a first rollout and then a second rollout and here's the key. Joe Rogan's favorite 100 episodes of the last 10 years or so will be left on YouTube starting December 31st when he goes exclusively to Spotify. For this couple month no man's land, the content will be on both platforms and will be migrating over. And so that's why the Alex Jones interview is not there. That's why some of the other interviews aren't there because those are gonna be the exclusive interviews that are left on YouTube, where in Joe's words, they'll probably get even more views than if they were on Spotify. So that's what's happening. And so I asked Joe, who's always been a straight shooter, point blank, I said, well, is Spotify censoring you? He said, absolutely not. What they're doing is trying to organize things right now, get this migration taken care of, and that I will obviously be on the podcast as well in the very, very near future. So I will be on, other guests will be on, Joe Rogan is in control of what goes on his show, and I'm just super excited about it. Joe is super excited because we've been friends since I met him in 1998. We've had our ups and downs. We've had some incredible adventures together. I'll just leave it at that. And to see him as the number one media person in the world and to know uh, that he's having all these big, diverse conversations is extremely, extremely exciting. So Joe is not being censored. He is the captain of his own ship. I'm very, very excited, and I look forward to coming on this podcast very, very soon. Now, let's move to the next point. Why is Joe very excited? Why am I very excited? Well, Austin is a really cool city, especially compared to Los Angeles. And where Joe lives is a very, very beautiful part of Texas. I'll leave it at that. Uh, but yes, uh, Joe has moved to Austin, Texas. He is here with his family, and it's actually come out in the local real estate news back on August 10th. I didn't say anything because Joe asked me not to, but now Joey Diaz has talked about it. Now a lot of the people have talked about it. It's in the newspaper, but still my phone rings off the hook saying, does he live in Austin? Does he live in Austin? I hear it's Dallas. I hear it's uh, San Antonio. No, it's Austin, Texas, and the local papers have accurately reported on some of it, not all of it. Uh, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Joe has his privacy. He's very excited to be here as part of the mass exodus out of the blue states. I just hope that those following Joe don't bring their California problems here. I know he's more of a libertarian, so we're extremely happy to have Joe right here deep in the heart of Texas. That's why I put on my Lone Star beer shirt. It's the most Texas thing I had uh, here in my office. So that's the facts. Joe Rogan does indeed live in a really cool place in Austin, Texas with his family. He's built a new podcast studio. He put video out on that a few days ago. That's got millions of views. And so they're mystery solved. But Very excited to know that our super uh, popular episode 911 and the other episodes up on YouTube will still be there unless the internet gods of big tech decide to remove it as well. I'm Alex Jones. This is the InfoWar. Join us weekdays, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. for my broadcast and find all of our banned videos and share them from band.video. If you're watching this transmission coming from deep in the heart of Texas, you are the resistance. The year is 2020. Following several decades of systematically weakening the social, moral, and financial resilience of the American people, the global cabal has launched a series of unimaginable terrors that have rocked the foundation of Western civilization and has fractured the population of a once united country along increasingly irreconcilable lines. The nation finds herself on the precipice of all-out civil war, diving headlong towards economic ruin, and already suffocating under the dictatorship of biotechnocratic enslavement. The final takedown order has been issued, the direct attack has begun. America's greatest trial, and the battle for her survival, is underway. 
InfoWars emergency transmissions are now broadcasting live weeknight 7 to 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Election Countdown, Taking America Back on Band.video and InfoWars.com. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance.